Hey Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So this reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. So let's see what we have here. I picked up on like someone having a premium, um, I don't know, something's premium. I don't know if this is like a account or something like that, but someone here has something that's premium. I also picked on up on the name Courtney. If you are a returning subscriber or you're new here, hello. I am your intuitive reader. I am the one behind all my readings here. All right, so let's see what we have. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Let's check in for Virgo. So there are endings happening right now. There's so much that you have worked through or overcome in coming through this transformation. Number 29, someone could be 29 years old or someone has dealt with something over 11 years, almost a decade. You may need to cleanse your home or um, learn to incorporate some type of necklace with the evil eye emblem on it or symbol. Um, but right now, uh, you could be making a lot of uh, decisions or chancing something to have prosperity, okay? Let's see what we have. For Virgo. Someone's a part of a corporation. Someone here is um, very flexible. I don't know why I'm picking up on Elastigirl. We have by the book. So there's something here that you're needing to follow the rules by in order to obtain your blessings. I don't think you can imagine your life without something. It's like you're grateful for life. Another chance. There is judgment somewhere here. Yeah, someone's dealing with a Libra. Someone's overall uh, animal element is an elephant. You guys need to look up what your spiritual animal is when it comes to an elephant or what that means. Yeah, but the scales are going to be tipping in your favor. I see you writing something out without a friend, a lover, or someone to be by your side. There's something that you're doing by yourself. Look. I can't make this up. Didn't I say something about someone being flexible? Someone could do the split. Someone's into gymnastics or um, someone is an acrobat here. Someone wants you to be flexible about bending the rules to uh, find uh, reconciliation with them. They feel you and your energy. They know you are their soulmate. Okay? You embody this higher power that's bigger than you, okay? Let's see what your person wants to tell you. Someone's in this eager energy to let you know something. Okay, so I took you in the wrong way. Someone wants to play by the rules now. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? I know that you are worth the wait. So I think that someone's coming to terms about who you are and what you mean to them. All right. They feel insecure to come towards you. Or oh, this is your energy. My love to you is unconditional and genuine. So you guys are not speaking to each other right now. You guys are in separation. This person isn't doing the work that they're supposed to be doing because it's in reverse because of their insecurities. Let's 
let's see here. What do we have for Virgo? Okay, so I see a new job or career coming in. This is actually going to be for October the 30th to the 31st, all right, for Virgo. Okay, so you're protected from negative forces beyond your control. Whatever this is about, this is what your judgment is from your ancestors and guides. Okay, so when it comes to um, a Leo or something like that, you need to be uh, stern on acting on something that could have to do with a Aries. Use your intuition to make the beneficial changes that you need to. We have Vase, Secret Admirer. There's a secret admirer that you could work with that comes off as stubborn or aggressive. Show me more. Someone here is looking up information about you. We have table, hard work ahead. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. What else is here for October 29th to the 30th? Or the 30th to the 31st? I'm sorry. I'm getting the dates mixed up. So this is for October 30th to the 31st. Okay, so we have ring. So there is a message or a marriage that will take place either romantic or in business. Okay, but there could be danger when it comes to your money or your finances I see you obtaining wealth in some type of marriage or there is um, some beneficial energy in regards to um, marrying someone I see reconciliation but whoever this person is that wants to reconcile there's too much sexual um, concerns or matters with this reconciliation someone just wants to sleep with you okay because you are a good time virgo but nonetheless don't give them none whoever done, got their hands in the cookie jar needs to take their hands out they ain't getting none period what else do we have What else is there that we need to know currently? Okay, so you are definitely unbothered. I do have a community tab message that I wrote here. So for all you motherfuckers that think that you can come in here and try to project your energy onto me or anyone else on my platform, I'm here to tell you that we're unbothered. We're booked and busy. We don't really give a fuck what you're feeding or spewing out because it's only about you. You're trying to make it about you and we really don't care, okay? So in the next few weeks, you're going to have to tap into your maternal instinct with a younger child or some type of uh, younger child that you may have or that you work with. Some of you are experiencing permonition visions or a situation that feels like you've lived relived this situation before there is a situation that is um requiring mind over matter type of energy someone could be a musical artist dj radio or be into um doing a podcast all right it's like a lot of bitches think that you you really give a fuck about being bothered. There's nothing that you can do to break me. I've already been broken down and I know how to keep myself up when I need to rise to the occasion. There's nothing that you can do to hurt me. You can only tempt me, but you can't hurt me. 
okay? Because my ancestors are here for each and every single one of you and karma is real, all right? So something here is a game changer. This could be a new boo. We have dating and having fun. So some of you are going to be going on a date here. All right, you're just gonna see what really happens until someone, you know, runs out of options or chances here. It's like you have people on probation. It doesn't even matter if this is a romantic situation or not, but y'all have people on probation here. Someone's unsuccessful in maintaining information that they want to get on you, okay? Someone's uh, living a lie or is in some, in some type of facade energy, okay? Someone could be watching a screen record or listening to a screen record or watching some type of screenshot, reliving the moment about something. I think that has something to do with you guys breaking up. So someone's tapping into this new school energy or needing to here. Someone's name is Tessa. Or someone drives a Tesla. What else is here for the next couple days? October 30th to the 31st. So your dreams come true, Virgo. Have faith, your rainbow will come smiling through. Some of you are not looking to rekindle anything with this past person. Responsibilities, so romance interrupted, duties come first. So there's something that you may, or someone that you may be leaving behind that you are dating because of some, some personal situation or something that you need to tend to right now sounds serious we have burning desire and disguise so some elements of this relationship are hidden okay there is flames of passion that ignite you are worthy and someone sees that here you are the person that someone is finally figuring out that they need to be with and they're going to be reaching out here Okay, expect a gift from this person, whoever this is. What else do we see right here? What else do we need to know currently, Holy Spirit? Okay. So something here is not recovering. Something here is not recovering or in recovery mode because um, it's like something's off for you and you need to reject this. If you have to tap into your intuition to figure out if something's for you, it, it nine times out of 10, it's not. If you can't put your finger on it, why th something can't be uh reconciled or recovered it's because it's not supposed to be okay we have dissipating in reverse so someone here is going to try to reappear because of your abundance they want to co-create with you because they see your self-worth they know what your worth is now this person is lazy it's a lazy motherfucker okay they don't work, they lost their job, and now they think they can mooch off for you. Good riddance, buddy. We have perseverance. So I see someone renewing some type of energy and stopping this facade to, to persevere, which is really good. Really good fucking energy. We have facing jail time. Someone could be in mental conflict or really facing jail time here. 
someone's not taking no for an answer. They still want to be in your energy. But you are definitely being guided. What else? For Virgo here. There is someone that's very stuck in their ways. Okay? Whatever black magic someone here is doing, it's being reversed. Secrets are about to be revealed. Skeletons are about to show. About to be in the closet. Whoever this was that was trying to block you, it's it's not working. Okay? Okay? Period. Someone's actions are going to be catching up to them. And this is where this ending happens. Someone's in a uh, toxic family dynamic here. Who's Terry Ann? Terry. Someone's name starts with T. We have codependency. A codependent relationship is present. So someone's still stuck on your energy or you're stuck on theirs. Someone here is trying to manifest you back. Or you're manifesting something bigger. And you're trying to let your guard down so that you don't miss the... the, the greener grass on the other side some of you may need to talk to someone like a therapist or someone that could help you kind of figure things out along the way here let's see someone's base chakra is in alignment right now due to uh, hope or having hope someone's fighting temptation Someone could be or has watched that movie, Finding Temptations with Beyonce in it. I do see prosperity beginning, and I think that someone here is going to tell you that you're heading towards financial prosperity here, some type of firm foundation. Okay, so we have an imbalance because of someone trying to control something. Someone thinks that they can control what you do, how you think who you want to be, okay? I see you here um, in, this, in this patience, impatient energy to step out of this mental conflict so that you can make the right decisions here to have a firm foundation. What else is here for Virgo? October 30th to the 31st. Okay, so we have shadow and heartache and loss. So you're stepping out of this energy, this saddened energy to do the shadow work that's required of you here, okay? And I think that without the universe, you wouldn't have the energy to pull through to have this firm foundation and to step out of this. I think that you knew all along that you can do this. And I think that you're trying to channel these... Um, these lessons that you've learned through karma to um, to protect yourself from certain energies here. And I do see you moving in a positive direction. All right. There's someone here that's deceptive about uh, coming into your heart space. So you need to emotionally withdraw yourself from someone here. I don't know who this is, but... You need not to trust anyone. I just did a video. There are two different uh, King of Cups. They could be from the water family, water element family. So be very careful. Let's see what's a part of this Kipper. So the overall energy is concern and mature men. So what you're not expecting here is a, an official person that could be stepping away from your life. Someone here is dropping, um, someone here doesn't expect to uh, lose a talent or a gift or someone's losing something because of a failed marriage, a failed marriage or relationship here. Someone's losing the opportunity to see a child. 
whoever this is, this could have something to do with a mature man. This mature man could be concerned about uh, someone coming into a privileged lady energy. Someone didn't expect to lose a child and their stability too. This is someone that could have um, honored the person that they were with or the job or position that they held. Someone lost their job as well. So now they want to mooch off of you because you're in a place of abundance. Hell no. It's, it's not going down like that. So law is not justice. Rules are not fair. So I, what I would say is whatever your concern is, don't take matters into your own hands. Keep doing you and focus on your journey and the goals that you have set for yourself here. All right, Virgo. I also see mortality number 42. So there's something here that's going to be brief, bright, and beautiful and yours to live. There's something that lives or is forever lasting. I heard someone's name is Jaquan, Jaquanda, Jakeem, Raheem. We have wake up, so it's your moment right now. You need to step into getting away from this emotional, um, emotional phase and, and tap into this metamorphosis, this, these changes that are happening to you, okay? This could be, um, I just seen that this disguise energy is out here. So there's some elements of a relationship that is hidden. Like I said, someone here is just here for a good time. At the bottom of the deck, we have keep your, temp keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. So someone could try to piss you off. Try to stay humble. I know it's easier said than done, but all you can do is focus on the growth that you've had and um, keep pushing forward, okay? Let's see what else is happening for you in love. There is a snake around you, Virgo. You need to be careful because this is somebody that you can't trust. We have keys on a ring. This could include many other people. Someone could try to deter you from making the right decisions or making a decision that is very temporary. We have love calls. So someone's going to call you to express a message of love or that they're thinking about you that they want to get together with you or show you love and affection all right you may be turning someone down okay so we have ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so you're definitely getting to the next phase or stage in your life you're not looking back on anything that has happened in the past between you or anyone. You're not allowing that person to be an option or to date them because you're loving yourself. You're learning to fall in love with your higher self all over again, okay? And that's the sudden change that's happening or taking place. You've immediately transformed. Congratulations, Virgo. Let's see here. What are the channeled messages for Virgo? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Okay, there's someone here that wants to give their opinion to you about uh, that person drifting apart or you drifted apart from someone here and you feel like you always have to go the extra length to prove something to someone in which you live your life for you and you shouldn't have to prove anything to anyone. You're grown as hell. How dare they try to tell you that you need to uh, explain yourself when you don't need to. What's understood don't need to be explained. It hurts me to see you moving on. And this is why they don't reach out because they think that you're not interested or the other way around. 
yeah we have unanswered questions so someone here is in the dark about things that they want to know but aren't reaching out to get those answers here you don't see uh this friends with benefits thing type uh working out between you and a particular person give us a wild card okay so someone here is feeling jaded someone's bored whether they're in a relationship or not someone's bored and now they want to choose you come on now like what why now now someone's in this awakened energy to get back to you because you left them behind ain't that some shit let's see here we have seven of wands which is fire energy aries leo sagittarius some of you could have dealt with a fire sign or is dealing with one currently i'm also seeing the star in reverse which is the aquarius energy here so someone feels extra defensive towards a fire sign or a fire sign feels like this towards you can we see why someone has lost hope all right when it comes to uh you here someone is going through some financial hardships ten of pentacles or there is trouble with a boss or people that they work with also in their own personal life with their current person okay this person could very well be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces I'm hearing that someone was put on an assignment to come back towards you to reap some type of financial benefit so that it benefits their person as well. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. What's the six of wands in reverse? Someone's last name is McCoy. We have Queen of Pentacles. Someone's name could also be Leroy. There's something here about the dolphins. Is there like a team that is the dolphins? I don't know if this is like a hockey team or something, but I'm seeing dolphins. I also envision like a restaurant. I don't know. Or <laughs> I don't know if this is like a symbol or something like that. But someone's not going to uh, be able to get some type of money out of you without uh, some type of fight being put up here. Someone thought that they could just run over a run game on you. We have Page of Wands. So there is some type of jealousy or gossip or something like that happening. Possession with a fire sign. Someone is possessive over you i'm hearing chris brown's song possessive i might get a little possessive but you know i got good intentions knight of pentacles someone's very eager eager for what for you to make a decision someone wants to, you to give up your options for them okay Someone wants you to avoid the world, to take on the energies with them here. Okay, so we have the nine of wands. There is a lot of worry based off of someone's emotion. Someone's worried about you not following the rules or not, not being able to uh, give them what they want because you stepped into your boss energy, Aries energy here i think that someone here is being ignored someone's choosing others over this person that feels like it's a fight to get back into your energy so someone's going to be strategizing here please pay attention to things that are going on around you all right let's get a uh 
a wild card. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Okay, so there is a Knight of Wands here. There is a Knight of Wands energy that's coming towards you. This is someone that sees you as a sex symbol, okay? You are someone that can't be forgotten about. You are someone that is very memorable. Someone likes your physique, your body, even if it's not perfect. It's like you have a, a, a beautiful body here, all right? And I think that someone's going to be doing something that uh, kind of allows them to be very... I don't know why I'm hearing promiscuous. Behave. Someone doesn't want to move out of this uh, energy, but they feel like they've lost you and they're losing things around them including you and this makes someone think whoever this is you're at a distance from this person it's like they're not really accessible right now i don't even know if i want to put this this video up but hopefully if I do, I get some good feedback. Yeah, I just seen it's been too long and I'm lost without you. But they feel like you don't want them anymore. Like it's not possible for them to be a part of your life anymore. Yeah, you do have monitoring spirits around you. Whoever these people are, they're pretending. Look how many cards are falling out. We have quiet finding yourself purpose self worth purpose drive judgment car impounded repossessed because of late payments yeah someone here is going through it financially i'm telling you i don't know if this is you or your person but you you've went quiet i feel like you've went quiet because you would like to better yourself and you getting wrapped up in other people's problems is, is like uh, breaking your concentration to be at your highest the highest self here. We have credit card fraud or fraud, I'm sorry, fraudulent activity. So please pay attention to others that if you're like in the bank or um, checking out somewhere that someone's not looking over your shoulder to get your pen or using your your uh, car to make purchases yeah this is the reckless decision or behavior that they want to come in with you need to be careful this person wants a little piece of your money a piece of the pie Okay, so we have million dollar mindset. There's something here that you are going to be thinking about that's going to come to pass, come to life, that's going to make you a million dollars, okay? Or something's going to make you a million dollars richer, all right? And someone's mad because they can't master your skill. They can't duplicate anything that you do because you're you and they're them, period. Someone here has a terminal illness. Won't let this person come back. I don't give a shit. They're, they're coming with drama, okay? Their life is a soap opera. Look, I can't make this up. This is a male karmic energy. This is a male karmic energy. They're succubus. Don't let this motherfucker drain you. They want you to be sad and miserable like them. Don't do that to yourself. I hear somebody calling someone else sister. I don't know if you guys are having a conversation, but I just heard that. Let's see what else we have in this read for October 30th to the 31st. Okay. So someone here is graduating school or this could be personal growth in graduation here. We have cancer. Someone could be a cancer or there is a diagnosis that someone has got 
of some type of terminal illness or cancer. We have, if you blatantly hating and waiting on my downfall, just be patient and kiss my ass. If you didn't believe and you had a problem with my previous and kiss my ass, if you downright spoiled and feel I don't do enough for you, that's right, kiss my ass. That lyric is from Jada Kiss. I love Jada Kiss, okay? We have introvert. Someone here is an introvert. So someone here that's an introvert wants one more chance. Someone here is going to be getting asked out on a date. This could be a fatal attraction. So watch out here, okay? We have DNA ancestry. So someone needs to understand where they come from or what their heritage is, 3636 36 on the clock. All right? We have creator social media platform. Didn't we just speak on something like that? We have disabling comment section. So someone here that is a uh, creator needs to disable their comment section. You have a lot of people mad and upset here. I've already experienced that and I've already spoke on it. I don't give a fuck about anybody that doesn't have any positive energy or anything nice to say to anyone that's trying to uplift themselves. What is wrong with someone going the extra mile to better themselves? Why do you have to knock on someone else to make yourself feel like you're up there when we all know that there is a self-projection of self-hate and you not succeeding in your own life that you want to make someone else's life miserable i don't feed into that stuff okay someone here could be hispanic as well what else could virgo look forward to before i close out What do we have here? What else can Virgo look forward to? Wow, Queen of Wands. So expect a lot of adventures and curiosity, a lot of um, opportunities coming your way that you might want to try out here is what I'm seeing. Some of you are going to be doing more like branching out on different makeup that you use. This is for the females or males. If you're into makeup or beauty, period you're going to be doing a lot of things differently even hair color is what i'm seeing here okay some of you may be wearing heels or um have like a fascination in um shoes or attire how you carry yourself yeah you're in this ten of pentacles energy this is at the bottom of the deck some of you could be in this uh fire energy or your earth element here okay so Ten of Pentacles, this could be family dynamics getting better, uh, money coming in, and um, healthy relationships with co-workers and bosses here. So these are good things to come, Virgo. Uh, that's all I have for now. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.